Union members who had been on strike outside the Kentucky truck plant could vote on their tentative contract with Ford in just a few weeks. WDRB's Darby Bean breaks down the deal for workers. Darby? Well, guys, the local union president tells us today that that vote could happen as soon as November 12th, and it's quiet outside the truck plant right now after that strike. Signs now down and the picket line gone outside the Ford Kentucky truck plant in Louisville. The union reached a tentative agreement with the company Wednesday evening. For now, employees are waiting on a call on when to return to work. Everybody feels pretty energized right now, I think. Uh, we're probably uh, waiting for the details. Initially, the, the deal sounds very good. Sean McIntyre has been at the truck plant around a decade, and it's not just his future he's thinking of with a new deal in mind. He says his son also works here and is just getting started. Uh, he most certainly is going to have a different experience. <laughs> he'll be making uh, he'll be making top out pay in three years versus it took me eight years. But the agreement is still tentative at this point and must be voted on by the union. Local union president Todd Dunn says that vote could happen November 12th and would include both the Kentucky truck plant and Louisville assembly plant. I think the members, it's up to them to decide. Um, I think we've done the best job I've seen in my whole career, and that's not to take away anything from any prior leadership. Among other changes, if this agreement passes, the UAW says workers will get a 25% raise over the four years of the deal. With cost of living adjustments, the top wage rate is expected to be more than $40 per hour, and starting wages would rise 68%. I know for a fact in my 29 years, I personally feel that this is four, four to four and a half times uh, any contract that I've ever experienced in my life. Union members are waiting for more information about the details of this tentative agreement before time to vote. In my opinion, as far as I see so far, it is a record deal. It is important to note here that a tentative agreement has not been reached yet between the UAW GM and Stellantis. We are told that negotiations are still continuing on that. And Gilbert, there is more information on our website as we go in depth about what we know about all of this so far. All right, Darby, thank you.